I will worship you with all of my heart And I will worship you with all of my mind And I will worship you with all of my strength For you are my Lord You are my Hey, hello and welcome with Contemporary Praise. It's me, Tula, again, right in front of your screens. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so excited about today's programme. It's not going to be like any other Contemporary Praise. Um, I have got an amazing guest for you guys to see here and experience the power and anointing of God that is upon his life. Um, so we've got a Contemporary Praise special for you guys today. So, you know, take a seat back, relax, phones off, and pay attention because this is for you. I have got today with me Micah Stampley. Oh my, I hope you're clapping hands because I am. <laughs> Micah, welcome to the show. It's good to be back in the UK. Oh, wonderful. This is my first time introducing you, so I'm yeah, very, very excited yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited break. as well. So you are one of, well, you are the first Contemporary Praise special. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Hey. You've just broken ground I'm so today. so honoured. Check you out. <laughs> Making history. <laughs> you have done. <laughs> Micah, so you have been globetrotting, or should I say I country have. hopping? Country hopping. <laughs> um, doing a promotional tour yeah. um, for this new CD, One Voice. Uh -huh. um, just left Nigeria. We were in Port Harcourt and Abuja, and from there to here, and from here to Amsterdam. And wow. Then back to the States doing some more uh, work, but it's been exciting, it's good. Wow, so it's feeling a bit, you know. A little. A little, hey, a little hello. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you trudge on, you know, for the right, gospel, that's right. a great thing, got isn't to, it? got to, Now, Micah, I mean, I love your music. You know, Holiness is one of my favorite songs. Ah. I'm sure you hear that all the time. I do, I I'm can't sure you get hear away that from all the, the time. song. <laughs> I don't care how many albums you I put out. <laughs> Sing holiness. <laughs> it always so, has to be that one, yeah, one yeah. track, and I think it just does that. And another place is another one of my, my favorite. Now cool. I'm talking about my favorite because cool. this is contemporary praise. So, um, <laughs> and you know, it, it, holiness for me always mm -hmm. really does. To be honest, it really does take me there. You know, I have it wow. in my ears. You know, when I'm traveling, etc., and everything. And it's amazing. I was researching and just finding out bits about you, and you are just one of those people that just does everything <laughs> literally everything you are an anointed minister of music i had to write this down so that i don't forget it <laughs> he's an international worship leader he's an award winner he's one of gospel's most celebrated quote greats also described as a gospel veteran uh, and you're so young who says that stuff a record label <laughs> owner a philanthropist and as if that's not enough, you're a daddy of five of and with a wonderful, beautiful wife that uh -huh. I met earlier. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. God has been good to you. God has <laughs> been really good to me. God has been really good to me. It's He's, amazing. Um, bless me to be able to do a number of things. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's <laughs> and, wonderful. Um, he's teaching um, Heidi and I balance. Yeah. So uh, it's very important. Um, when, when he's given you so much to do, I'm sure you can you know, testify to that, to whom much is given. Much, Much is required. required. Oh. So you have to be sure justify. that you take care of your body, be yeah. sure that you, yeah. you're in good health so yeah. that you can accomplish all that he put before you. I hear that. And five albums now. This is my saying. fifth album. I, I, that revelation hit me <laughs> uh, a couple of weeks ago. I yeah. was doing a concert in Louisiana and I said, oh my God, this is my fifth album. Yeah. You know, so it's... Um, it's a, it's a tremendous blessing to be able to say that. Yeah. I can believe that. I can believe that. I mean, um, we, we will show you or let you hear a snippet of Micah's new album. And we'll get to that soon. But before we do, uh -huh. I think it's only fair for you guys to know who Micah is. Ah. And who is the man? Who is Micah? Micah is a country boy who loves riding horses. And nice. <laughs> Um, I just, I j I'm just really laid back, um, mm. drama free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm one of those very low key, low maintenance type <laughs> artists. I like and, that. Um, so, yeah. you know, I just love God. I'm a worshiper. Mm. Um, what you see on television or hear my music, that's yeah. my personal lifestyle. You that's know, who that's you who I am as a person. And um, you'll hear worship and praise yeah. all day long in my house and, wow. and my children. And you're hearing them singing. And um, my baby boy, he's just discovering his vibrato and his tones. And That's so, so cute. It almost sounds like <laughs> he's had, his car is trying to start up, you know. Ah, 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 ah. Not quite there. Yeah. Charge your battery. But <laughs> oh, bless him. So you hear that all the time in the house. And yeah. so they keep us busy. But um, I love cooking. Mm. Um, um, I love being a chef. Um, though I'm not a real chef, okay. I love trying new things. <laughs> I love cooking. Um, I, you know, I'm cutting hair, a barber, oh, you know, wow. my boy. So I do. You do everything. Absolutely. I thought I described it all anything, here, but there's more. <laughs> anything I can get my hands to do to accomplish, I'll, I'll try yeah. it out. Yep. Well, that's wonderful. You really are the typical biblical man right. who always <laughs> yeah. literally put his hands in, yeah. you know. Yeah. In a way, you know, you remind me of how, um, you know, in Proverbs 31, where it just describes the woman, how she should be, etc., and right. that kind of stuff. Um, you are the male yeah, side of that. Yeah, the male side of that. You know, the male so side I of love, that. I love that. I love that. And, yeah. of course, I'm a breadwinner, of course. Of course, so, absolutely. And um, it, I love teaching, mm. um, mentoring, um, you know, just pouring out what God has put in, in me over the years, you know, yeah. with um, psalmist, musicians, and yeah. worship leaders all over the world, from Australia to Africa to Japan, and you wow. name it. And I love teaching and, and just giving of myself, that's you wonderful. know, and so that's, that's what I do, that's who I am. Wow, that's wonderful. Music, obviously, which is why we're here today, uh -huh. is, plays a major role in your life. Yeah. Um, and, you know, can you tell us how you started um, your love for music? I know way back then? Mm, <laughs> is, it, is it that way back then? Yes, way yeah. back. I, I remember, I think I was around four yeah. when I figured out I had, wow. I can carry a note <laughs> or a tone. You figured that out at four. Well, my mom told me that I was singing before then, you wow. know, um, one or two years old. And I, I couldn't even speak correct English <laughs> at that age but um, I remember um, they would pick me up and put me t on top of the offering table at church because I was teaching mass choirs um, wow. at what the age, age of that? seven you were teaching mass I was choirs teaching, at seven yes yeah, so I would give these sopranos that part they said you know and then somebody singing the wrong part and seven, <laughs> so, how adorable. Yeah, wow. so, you know, I, um, I was dealing uh, with adults at a very young age, and so I would get the attitudes from some <laughs> of the adults. I was just a kid telling me I'm singing yeah. the wrong part. I was going to so, ask that. <laughs> what was the general, so, you know, response right, to right. that? <laughs> but eventually they, you know, figured out that I was hearing correctly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so music has always been a part of my life. Yeah. Um, it's a... Um, Music has always has always been in my family. I have a cousin who I talk about all the time, yeah. Nathaniel Stampley Jr., who's on Broadway for the past six years as wow. a leading role in Lion King, oh, Mufasa. Wow. But he Lion and I King. started together as yeah. a male duo, as kids. We were, you know, his mother yeah. taught us how to harmonize, okay. and so we started singing together. Wow. And they eventually moved away yeah. to another state, and yeah. we stayed in Louisiana. And now I'm a, a recording artist, and he's, you know, on Broadway and doing a, no, a number of things. And so wow. it's pretty interesting, but music just runs through my family. That's amazing. That's beautiful. And now, obviously, your kids are following suit from Daddy oh, yeah, and, yeah. and Mommy as yeah, well. Yeah, it's obviously. pretty interesting to that. hear. Music is also in my wife's family. Her yeah. brother is a musician oh, and a wow. writer and recording artist and her sisters and so on and so forth. And um, it's... it's uh, so they have to be musical, of course. you know, <laughs> so, That's but wonderful. we're just watching it organically happen. Of it's course. nothing that we're pushing. And of my course. nine year old is on a piano courting. Yeah. Actually, he's nine and um, they're great. picking up the guitar and, and playing and they're singing. And I mean, yeah. just writing prophetic yeah. music yeah. Uh, at a very young age. So That's beautiful. That's it's pretty so interesting. Wonderful to hear yeah. that, you know, <laughs> to talk about kids and talk about them in the way you're talking about them. Uh -huh. 
that they are using their giftings and their talents. Definitely. You know, as the word says, you know, yeah. you know, you're giving your talents to make room for you. Yeah, you it know, flourishes, it really it flourishes when we make them turn off the playstations yeah. and the, the television, <laughs> no cartoons, and if, you know, it kind of forces them yeah. to, even when they're yeah. grounded, <laughs> and yeah. they get punished, <laughs> and they always, you know, go to the instruments like, yeah, we should do this more often. <laughs> then we get yeah. punished more. Right. <laughs> That's wonderful. So in, in, in line with that, music, as we know, is used in so many different ways in this world that we live in, which we're not part of. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how do you then, how do you discipline yourself? Or I, I guess discipline is the wrong word. How mm -hmm. did you get to a point to decide in your life what you're going to use your giftings and talents for, as in for the Lord, as opposed to what so many people with your, I'll call it talent for now because you are anointed, you're above the talent factor. Mm. But there are people who have a talent God bless for singing. You. <laughs> talent for singing um, and how did you decide that this talent that I have along with the anointing that God has given me I'm going to direct it this way as opposed to that way well gifts <coughs> come without repentance mm. you know there are a lot, a lot of gifted people um, out here but um, I can't really put a time frame on yeah. when I actually decided that I'm going to obey God but this is, this is the call of my life. And there was no way I would be able to survive yeah. um, in this life, in this world, without saying yes to the will of God for my life. Of and um, and you know, I have other siblings, you know, who didn't make it yeah. this far. Yeah. And um, it's, it's, it's been um, a testimony, but but at the same time, for me, it's disheartening to see that, you know, I've had other brothers and sisters who struggled with the will of God for their lives. Right. And, yeah. and you know, my sisters are all alive, yeah. thank God. Praise and God. Some, yeah. some brothers are not. Mm. But um, I'm, I'm grateful that I had, you know, a desire yeah. to please God yeah. in spite of, you know, yeah. what, you know, I, my flesh was telling me because mm. you know we've all yeah. had to go through those moments oh, yeah. where we rebelled against yeah. you know what God wanted for yeah. us and um, but I my yes to God not a mm. verbal yes but yes from my heart changed the course of my life mm. and um, that that balance you know you know I, I, the question was how do I balance it is just basically saying not my will Holiness is what I long Amen. for. Holiness is what I need. That's right. It's what you want for me. So take my heart and mold it. Take mm. my mind and transform it. Mm. Take my will and yeah. conform it to yours. Yeah. That's yeah. been my prayer. Yeah. And whenever I get into a <laughs> whenever I get into a situation where you know I'm battling with should I should I not? And because we all have to go, we still all go through those moments as as long as we're on earth and living in this carnal body, yeah. this flesh, yeah. we will always have to deal with right and wrong right. and making those decisions. And mm -hmm. so um, I thank God that, you know, yeah. the decisions that I've made has been the right decisions. Yeah. Not all of them, of but, yeah. you know, my yes to God has really, really kept me rooted and grounded. Did you have a certain turning point in your life that got you to that place? Because as mm -hmm. you mentioned, you know, we all do you, you know, mm -hmm. as, as a pastor's kid, and you know, and this is where I'm coming from, really. Yeah. You know, you were born and you know, raised up in the church. Oh, yeah. um, your parents are God fearing, God serving um, people. But as an individual, as Micah, uh -huh. um, did you have a turning point in your life where you decided, you know what, that's not for me, and I yeah. really do need to start buckling yeah. down and just. Being serious with the Lord. I guess the question is which turning point? Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. yeah. Which was the turning moments, point? <laughs> right. But um, I, 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 I talk about this one experience I had. I yeah. was uh, living in um, California mm -hmm. after my, my brother um, um, passed away in 1994, uh, my second brother. I had lost a brother in 90, 92 and then a second one in 94. Mm. And um, after his funeral uh, in 94, I moved to California and I was traveling with a pastor there, um, Pastor Earl Johnson out of Monrovia, California. And um, God really began to bless my life and the enemy 
uh, Satan began to kind of slide in mm. some things and camouflage it as if it was a blessing mm. from God. And, you know, I was what, 20, 21, mm. you know, still very young, yeah. leaving Louisiana, yeah. the rural South, yeah. you know, and going to a huge place like California, the city, city place. Yeah. I wasn't really used to it, but um, I ended up into, into some atmosphere environments and some places that was not con conducive to sure. um, the Spirit of God sure. and um, got really sucked into some things and um, started liking it and mm. enjoying mm. sin mm. and um, I, I think it was that really point I was, uh, <laughs> I was teaching at a high school in, in California yeah. and end up um, I went on my lunch break and I, if you know anything about California, if you've ever been there, the traffic is really crazy. Yeah. And so out of all the cars that was in traffic, this guy walked up to my car and my windows were down and, and, and pull out and put a, pull a gun on me and put it to my head. And, Gosh. <laughs> and people were rolling their windows up and that was the <laughs> longest red light I have ever oh, <laughs> faced my in my life. Goodness. And um, I knew what wow. was going on is because I would not obey God. Yeah. And so God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. But many times we will leave him. And he has this umbrella mm. of covering when the rain is pouring, mm. you know, in the world. And mm. as long as you stay under the umbrella, mm. you're okay. Mm. But I mm. stepped out and I left, from my, I left my covering. Yeah. And at that point, I was all access to the devil. Wow. And... And it was that moment um, I found out later that my mother was interceding in prayer for me, not knowing wow. what was going on. And wow. I thought to myself, I said, God, if you get me out of this, I'll obey. Wow. Whatever you say, I'll wow. obey. I didn't want to be the third son yeah. that you know, my, uh. my parents lost. You know? yeah. And so yeah. and uh, that, that moment by me saying yes to your will, yeah. I'm here today with you. Wow. I would not be alive today wow. had I not obeyed God. Praise God. Yeah. And it's amazing that sometimes it takes that much for yeah. God to get our attention, oh, you definitely. know. Um, definitely. Cuz we we do run. I mean, and as you said, you know, when you get into some times in sin, oh yeah. You enjoy sin. Definitely. <clears throat> and that's just a deception of the enemy yeah. because he just he blinds you. He oh, blinds yeah. you for the reality definitely. of what it is. Definitely. Um, and leads you to that place and it's it's a wonderful testimony that you were able to stand and, and, and turn around. And, you know, for anybody who's listening out there, that's certainly going through, should I or should I not? Yeah. You know, you know, I really do hope that's ministered to you because the, the best choice that you can ever make is to say, yes, Lord, you know, I will. Yes, you know, definitely. Um, so that's, that's, that's wonderful. The interesting Thanks thing for is, that. and that was a revelation that God gave me a while back. Um, we are created in his image and his likeness. Yeah. And um, when God breathed into Adam the breath of life, Adam became a living soul. The word soul means the mind, yeah. the intellect, the will. And God sent Jesus Christ mm. to, re to save our souls, yeah. our minds. Wow. So wow. whenever we wow. battle with wow. right and wrong, good yeah. and evil, yeah. it's always in our souls, wow. in our minds. Wow. And so whichever being, yeah is the strongest, whether it's that, that carnal mind mm. or the Spirit of God in you. In you, yeah. you know, whichever one is the strongest, that's why it's important that you, you feed wow. yourself wow. the Word of daily. God yeah. daily yeah. In, in worship and prayer Amen. to strengthen that spirit man. Yeah. Because whoever is the strongest, that's the one that the body will obey. Wow. And a house divided can't stand. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. so that's, yeah, that's, you know, most people don't yeah. understand, you know, yeah. why they're going back and forth, not really understand why am I doing this and why am I doing that? Or, you know, why mm. can't I, I'm so indecisive about my life or whether or not I want to be in the church or in the will of God. Yeah. Or, I'm enjoying this though, because yeah. sin is enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. to be honest, just yeah. to be real yeah. about it, yeah. it Let's is. But you have to yeah. come to a place in your life where you want God more mm. than anything else. Yeah, so yeah. you have to nourish that spirit, man. Wow. 
wow. <laughs> oh, that's blown now me the away. preacher in me is coming <laughs> oh, out. <laughs> I love it. Please preach on. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and it's so true. I, I completely agree with that. And yeah, I do pray that you really, you know, soak in this in because this is for you. You know, God's brought Micah to just really witness to your spirits. And I just mm -hmm. pray that, you know, you're just allowing, you know, don't hold back. Just, just say, Lord, you know, this is for me. Let me receive it. And let it just turn me around, you know. This is my moment, Father God. That, yes, Lord. Yes, you know, Micah. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is just so powerful. Amen. Now I want us to move on to talk about your single. <laughs> now, tell me about One Voice. Why One <sighs> Voice? For for so long, you know, the most segregated time in the world is Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> yeah. And um, one voice is a call to every nation, every race, uh -huh. every tongue, uh -huh. every creed. Let's come together. Let's yeah. stop fighting and, you know, the, the bickering about how we should be baptized. Is it uh -huh. through, through the Trinity or through Jesus only and you know just just petty things that yeah. we fight about in the in the Christian community yeah. um, it's just really silly and God is saying okay I'm a God of all people you yeah. know I created all of you yeah. and I'm not American yeah I'm not British yeah. Yeah. I'm God, yeah. Yeah. you know, and Alpha and Omega. Amen. <laughs> I'm Alpha Amen. and Omega. Amen. I'm not Baptist. Yeah. I'm not Pentecostal, yeah. you know, and that's what this song is about. Wow. One voice. And, and, and we, we, we've experienced so for, for years now, we are part of a multicultural church in the yeah. States where, and we look like a bag of Skittles candy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> assorted colors. You know? <laughs> and uh, it's yeah. so refreshing to see so many different races come together yeah. and we're all worshiping one God. Amen. And that's Amen. what One Voice is about. Amen. Wow, that sums it all up. Now we can hear the track playing uh -huh. just underneath or just bubbling it for the, for the viewers to hear. That is One Voice and that's the title track to Micah's fifth CD. It's called <laughs> One Voice. It's due to be released on August the 23rd. Yes. And it's going to be available in iTunes. Exactly. Amazon. Amazon. Your website? www.micastampley.org. That's great. Can, we're going to have the details coming up on the screen for you to go on the website and just check it out. But certainly on the 23rd of August, One Voice is going to be out. And Mike has just told you the vision you know, that he has for the CD. And I believe his vision, along with God's anointing put together, is going to be explosive. Um, so, you know, just go out and, 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 and check it out when it does come Amen. out. You Thank know, you. we can hear it, as I said, you know, bubbling in the background, <laughs> and I hope people are, you know, are getting inspired right. <laughs> <laughs> to go and hear that. Now, you, your music has got a lot of inspiration from a certain lady in your life. Now, One Voice, again, like all your CDs, has had that influence. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me a little bit about this lady and how she contributes. My wife, Heidi. That is? That's it. The first That's lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's an incredible writer. Um, Heidi and I wrote most of this album together, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as we do with every other, <laughs> every other CD. Absolutely and, beautiful. Um, I, this particular album, and let's talk about One Voice, that song Please in particular. Do. Um, she came to me with these lyrics and, um, and, and some of the melody and I got on the keyboard and I just, again, God gave me the, the melody and I just began to play it and it was one, we needed one section that we didn't have yeah. and, um, and we, you know, we can easily write from our gifts, you know, but do you want to just write from your gifts or you want to instant download from the Lord yeah. and write what he's saying. Mm. I want to hear what he's hearing. I want to say what he's saying. And so we said, well, let's not push it. Let's not, you know, create it on our own. Let's just wait and just kind of let him give it to us. Wow. And wow. so she went to do some other things. And, mm. and um, I was sitting at my little home studio <laughs> and, uh, and I got this little section and I said, hmm, so I started recording it and sequencing yeah. it and things like that. And so 
maybe 30, 40 minutes later, she said, hey, I got this section I want you to hear. And I said, yeah, I got something too. <laughs> and it was the exact same wow. thing. Wow. So I played to her what she had written, and it, it literally was, Just like it, locked. it locked like. Wow. <laughs> See how God works. So that happens to us quite often. That's beautiful. And so um, she is an incredible writer. She's all over the CD. Wonderful. Lyri uh, great lyrical content. Yeah. And um, we, God has really, really given us both the desires of our heart and as Praise to um, uh, allow us to be able to work together in yeah. ministry. Yeah. And um, she's also my manager. Wow. And, um, and uh, she's co-managing with, uh, now with Matthew Knowles. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's an interesting, yeah. you know, I know people want to know, <laughs> is Michael still saved? Is he still oh, saved? Are still saved, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> so we can talk about that whenever you get ready, but yeah, I'm still the same, Michael. You're still the same, the same man. <laughs> so that's wonderful. So Heidi's very instrumental um, in this. And it's, it's, it's always beautiful to hear um, of a husband and wife collaboration. I mean, you, you'd hear it in the sort of like the singing and et cetera, but mm -hmm. when you have got your wife that's got mm -hmm. your back, oh, yeah. and I think you've got, you can have no other better person yeah. to have your back yeah. than your yeah. wife. And it's kind of intimidating to some of the industry because they, they know that we, they can't tell her something to bypass me <laughs> and vice versa because we love that we we yeah. talk we uh, you know <laughs> and we communicate yeah and um, sometimes they kind of shine away other people they don't want to you know but those are the ones that have arterial motives wow. you know you don't yeah. want to deal they with those people them. anyway yeah. and so it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see but there are a lot of people who absolutely love it yeah and just really just just gravitate toward us because of the chemistry that we have wow. and our commitment to each other. Wow. Micah, half an hour just is not enough for me it's to talk not, to you. It's not. I need two hours right. with you. That's what I need. I need to cover everything. Yeah. <laughs> we are coming to a close of our program, unfortunately. Please say something to the camera. A word of encouragement to people. You've only got a few seconds, but that'd be yeah. great. That, okay. I would love you to do that. Well, you know, I just want to encourage you to step into your purpose. Um, those who are aspiring artists and writers, you don't know how to get into this industry. The first thing is to be sure that it's God's will for you. Somebody has to be the worship leader at the local church or the music pastor. Everyone is not supposed to be out here traveling and doing this, but if it's God's will, learn the business. Praise and I just God. want to encourage you all to Amen. just stay close to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. So tight, but you got it out there. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy this program. Take the words of wisdom.